What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode. Right now I'm on my bike heading back to go fishing. So hopefully it's a good time. I've brought some bread with me and just my light pole here with a little hook. So I'm about um, two minutes away. So hopefully we can get some giant bluegill. We've got some bluegill well over a pound, nearing two pounds in there. And I've also caught near state record warm mouth out of there, so we'll see how it goes. All right, there's our first hit. Hope he's on. Got him. Nice size bluegill. Yes. Oh, that is a really nice bluegill, actually. Yes. Nice. All right. First fish of the day. Not a bad one. All right, guys, here's our little catch on our first cast. It was actually really shallow. Typically, I don't get that much luck here shallow. I'm trying to grab him by the lip right now, but he won't open up. There we go. But it is a nice size bluegill. Sorry, I was taking a picture there. I'm just going to screenshot it, but it's a good size bluegill, probably three quarters of a pound. See you later, dude. Nice. Let's go. Guess I'm going to go a little shallower then. See if it gets hit. Oh, something's carrying it. Oh, something hit it. That might have just took all the bait. Something pounded it. Yeah, he literally blew the ball of bait off the hook. Wow. Well, it wasn't even deep enough. I could literally see him. I couldn't see the fish because this water is an odd color from the dye and weed killers they put in it. But I could see the bread because it's a lighter color. So I could literally see the ball of bread just go to the side. Oh, something's on it. Eat it. It's smaller, I think. Dang, he took the bait too. So maybe one of them happens to be the culprit. Quite possible. Oh, geez, something just hit something on the top right out there. So we're, I'm gonna take a break from that one and flip it out. Oh, something's hitting. Oh, didn't take it. It's probably small. I'm going to flip it back over here. I see some bluegills hitting the top. Oh, geez, that got crushed. Oh, wow, it's not that big, but he crushed it. It's still not a terrible size, but he freaking spanked it. No. Pretty good colored one right there. Jeez, dude, I thought that was a freaking giant warm out. There we go. Toss him back. Devastating blows on the bread. So we're gonna flip ours out a little bit farther because we got a bigger piece, so. Oh, I see, oh my gosh. There's some big ones on ours. Oh geez, he's on, he's on, he's on. 
Oh, he's on. Yes. It's not the biggest one, but it is a good one. Jeez. Quite good in here. I prefer to low in my, lower my drag so that it doesn't pull the hook out of the fish. This might be our biggest fish of the day. Close, similar size to the first one. Jeez, there are some big ones out there just spanking the bread. There we go. Probably 0.7 pounds. These are all 8, 9 inches. I see a big bluegill right now, so... Oh, something's already on. Got him. It's not too big. Oh, he's fighting good though. You get a sunfish. Nope. Actually, yes. This is a long ear sunfish. You guys can see the ear tab by the gill is a little bit longer and it's got some nice purple color, orange to it. But I haven't caught like big ones of those usually, but I'm sure they get big because in here, the bluegill get massive. I think they caught on to me a little, so I need to ease them up again. But in the meantime, while they're going to start feeding on that bread, I'm just going to toss out a balled up bottom bait. Hopefully one will come by and pick it up in a second here. Oh, one of the pieces of bread just got hit. Oh, there's another one. Smaller guys are hitting them. We just need one of the big, the big guys to start hitting it, and then one of them will hopefully lose their caution and, oh, fish just slipped up my bait. Not big. In fact, it's quite small. These guys, these bluegill here, almost look like crappie. Like, please don't roast me, because I obviously know how to identify fish half decent, at least. But they have, like, weird spots on them. And the bread's getting hit right now, actually. So I'm going to get this little guy back. Hopefully we can get a bigger one got him not bad oh he's fighting hard he's not too big he's a fast little son of a gun that's for sure he's an average sizer There we go, a little six and a half incher probably. Six, six and a half incher. They're hitting it quick. I can tell they're coming up to get the baits because they're all hanging out right below the surface. But, oh, see there's a piece of bread just got hit by a little one. But like it doesn't make it to the bottom right now. It's just making it about four inches below the surface and then it gets hit pretty good. But. Hopefully we get another one here in a second. Oh, I'm getting hit. And, oh, took the bait. The bait fell off. These things hit it and they're, the smaller ones hit it. So fishing with bigger baits is not as effective. I've found out. thinking about giving these bluegill a break real quick. The next small one I get, I might just chuck out his live bait for a second and see if he'll get hit. Oh shoot, there's some decent bluegill right here in front of me. And, oh, he just clobbered it. Got him. I saw him coming up shallow right here. Usually these bigger ones are afraid of the shallower water, but there he is, just a normal little bluegill. Ow. Ow, my gosh. Cut that out. 
There he is, a little seven incher. All right, I'm gonna try to get a big one real quick here. See if I can get one to pick it up. Go a little bit smaller this time, spend an extra second balling up my bread here to get it nice and tight so they can't hit it off right away. All right, we're gonna sling it out there a little bit. Not too far, nothing crazy. Oh, I just got tapped. Beat the bait. He took the bait. I thought I had it. How? How is this happening? These fish are just outsmarting me. But as long as they stay comfortable, I'll get them. I sure will. All right, this one's tight. If they get this one, congratulations to them. All right, we've had to completely just downsize from where I'd like to be for warm mouth. Oh, giant blow up in the reeds there from a bass, I'm sure. Oh, hit. Oh, you didn't get the bait this time, surprisingly. All right, a little itty bitty ball bread and flip it out. Oh, it's getting hit. Perfect baiter. A little bit on the larger side for bait. Not really. It's pretty good. I'm just going to leave the hook in his mouth. There he is, and I'm just going to toss him out. Shouldn't take long if the bass is right in here. But we'll see. I think I'll get one. He's running away from the reeds. Shouldn't be too long. Something's after him. Oh, geez, that bobber just went under. He's running hard. They split it in two, but one's got the piece. Got him. Oh, it's a little fella. All right. Well, then, a little bit disappointing, but, you know, still searching for that big warm off. Dang, they took it off. Cup water's not seeming effective at this moment. Oh, wow, it just got hit, actually. Never mind. Oh, it already got hit. See, these little ones don't even allow it to get down. Not terrible one, but not really what we're looking for. But, you know, small fish are better than no fish. There we go, toss him back. Might have one. Nope, they robbed us. The top water is just too easy for the small ones to get to. I mean, this is gonna improve the bass fishing, but the big bluegill fishing is just going down from the number of small ones, but that's okay. It's fine. Alright, this might be our last big ball of bread. Our last chance of the day. Well, actually, I have a bunch of little lures in my bag that I might try, but they never seem to fall for that in here. But there it is. That's possibly our last chance. Oh, he's on. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. And it's not a warm mouth, but it's not bad. That's pretty good size bluegill. 
Oh wait, is that a wormhole? No, it's not. It's a purebred bluegill. It's a good sizer though. See if I can unhook him without some pliers. Uh, I probably could, but I it's an easy unhook with pliers, so I'm, I'm just gonna unhook it with pliers for the health of the fish. Oh, little guy's on mine. Got him. That is the smallest one in the group. Wow. Pretty neat looking guy for a little one though. Unhook him, toss him back, there we go. It looks decent. It's not terrible. Looks like a little sunfish maybe. Nope, looks like a bluegill. Colorful little feller. Spiky one. Oh, just got smoked. Quick one, but not a big one. There we go. Last red fish of the day. We'll see if we can't get one on a lure. Oh, oh he slipped back before I could show you, but it was nothing special. Oh, big bass right here, guys. Scared me so much. I started walking, he came out and just absolutely tore out of there. He's not looking like he's wanting to bite, though. Might be going to it. This might explain why I'm not getting any bites. Oh, 
Oh, he's on, he's on, he's on. Got him. Got my four pound line on here with a, my miniature bluegill hook, so. He's going crazy. He's not like a monster, but pretty decent, I believe. Come on now. All right, that's it. Oh, wow, he's bigger than I thought. All right. Got a really small hook. Come on now. Oh, he's good. You he might be a three pounder. All right, just gotta get him up past these weeds here and we should be good. Oh, that's a good fish. All right, he's stuck right now in this stick right here, so I'm gonna see if I can't. Grab him. Got him. All right. It's a solid fish. All right, I've got you guys set up right now. Oh, he's barely skin hooked. Wow, that came right out. There we go. Two and three quarter, three pounder maybe. All right, guys, we got a picture. There he is. Nice fish, just gonna toss him back. Took a minute to get him to bite. It almost felt like bed fishing. It was kind of weird. Like I saw him bust off the bank. I'm gonna show you guys that. And just this little wacky rig Senko right here. But look at the size of the hook. I was too lazy to change out because I'm probably gonna leave after I get this lap done and then little itty bitty bluegill hook but he was barely skin hooked when I got him up on the bank. Like, I mean, the hook was sitting there. But I'm gonna continue the lap, and I'm gonna go to one of my favorite spots for bass fishing, and hopefully we can pull another one out. Like I said, not much of a gap anymore. Eh, we'll cast over it anyway. Oh crap, I got one. Dude, no way. I got a fish on. How am I supposed to land it? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm gonna let him swim and then walk over here and see if I can reel him in. This is so funny. It's probably gonna be caught all over the reeds, but hopefully the tension from the fish We'll pull it over the reeds because it's probably just at the top. But I, I mean, I felt the bite pretty good. And then, I don't know, I set into him. He jumped once, but as far as I know right now, I still have a hook in him. A little sandy beach right here. I wish I would have seen this. The water's so low that there's the little sand right here, but well, I think I'm off. I think he's off by now. He's still on. I see him. He's right here. He's sticking out of the water. It's 
water's not very shallow. Got him. Barely hooked. Barely hooked again. Not a bad fish by any means. But it's not as big as the last one for sure. I even didn't break off my line. All right. There we go, guys. Nice lateral line on this fish. Probably about a two and a half pounder. But I'm going to chuck him over the reeds. There he goes. He's all good. All right. Last cast magic right there, folks. Going to end on that one. Head home. Start editing. So hopefully you guys... Oh, oh, oh. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. I'm just going to not make a separate outro and just sign her off right here. Camera's a little slimy. But if you guys have any video recommendations, like I said in the last video and several videos before, drop them down in the comment section. I'll make it happen. But it's almost steelhead season, guys. I'm excited. Hopefully you are. The steelhead videos in the spring got significantly more than the other videos every other video really i mean you guys like stereotypes as well but thinking about doing a like best parts of 2020 at the end of the year but i mean it's a little ways away but I'm still thinking about doing it but if you guys have any ideas just let me know i'll probably make them happen but hopefully you guys enjoyed if you have any, like, competition ideas, maybe, um, I don't know, whatever it may be, just let me know in the comments, and I'm going to sign off. Catch you on the next one.